What's going on, fellas? Do a little walk around of this machine real quick before we fired it up. This is a build for Carlos in Florida. And essentially, this thing's gonna crank out some serious steam. Just so happens I'm in the business of building high performance custom co combustors. So this gives us a bit of an edge here. I'm saying this thing will probably be able to crank out twice as much steam as some of them units that are two and three times the size of this thing. It's all aluminum and stainless, so it doesn't rust. I'm hoping it doesn't conduct heat too well. Essentially what you've got here is a, uh, this propane tank is just for the ignition. Let me turn that on here. You would just give that some gas and, and press the button there. And then you've got auto ignition. So that's pretty snazzy. I've got all the quick connects you've requested. Here is the water connection. And you have to engage those first. I'm gonna get the fuel connector and um, we're gonna fire this thing up and test it. We're just gonna be observing the steam coming out of this side. This is the, the steam discharge port. The reason it's way over here and not with the rest of the stuff is because we don't want this thing running around inside the machine any more than we have to. It's best to just get it out of there as soon as possible before we start losing heat and warming everything else up. Steam is very good at heating up the areas it's passing through. We're going to want to run this with the lid open due to the amount of heat it kicks out, but that may not be the case. We're going to find out all those things in this test. This is the test where we determine what's going to melt and all that jazz. So for the most part, this ought to be pretty awesome. I want to point out that it is very hot out today, like 85 degrees or something. It's 81 on that thermal couple. So the steam isn't going to appear as visible as it will tonight when I do some testing. When it's dark out and it's cooled off a little bit. A lot of companies like to show their machines off in the winter, I've noticed. You'll see them videos, there's always snow on the ground. The steam looks about 20 times as ferocious as it does. Like a cup of coffee puts off a good silo of steam and cold weather. <laughs> so don't let the size fool you just yet. It's very hot out and it's very humid. So the steam is not going to be like so super visible. Okay, we're going to fire this thing up. We're testing it on diesel first.
just want to point out that I'm running the device on low because I don't want to burn the thing up right away. I'm, I'm testing it out to see how hot things get and how things handle before I really fire it up. It's very hot out, so I, I swear if it was cold outside, this thing would look like a rocket engine. It's The heat is not doing it any service. Anyone who's seen steam in hot weather versus cold weather knows what I'm talking about. So don't let that fool you. If it was cold outside, you would be seeing 10 times the amount of steam. It's like 81, 82 degrees outside, so just wanted to say that.